What's good, family? Smash the like button and subscribe. Wow! So, for you man who don't know, AJ is now locked in to fight Alexander Usyk on September 25th. All the goofy AJ haters and all the goofy YB haters, super sick and super missing right now. YB, mate. YB, mate. You need to apologize. YB, mate, you're a shill of Eddie Hearn, mate. Why aren't you talking about the fact AJ's ducking you sucks? Why be, mate? Why aren't you talking about the fact that AJ is ducking the blown up like heavyweight who can't punch? Uh? Oops. You man missing. Yeah? And now the conversation has changed. Why be, mate? Yeah, but you sucks, is the, you sucks the Don who can't punch at light heavyweight is going to knock AJ out, mate. You said, wait a minute. Let's get something straight here. One minute you man, one minute you man was telling me AJ too scary, he don't want no parts of you sucks, you sucks is 10 times better than Tyson Fury. Now it's moved to, oh no, he will fight you sucks, but he gonna get knocked out. You man is messy. You man are the same dons, yeah? You man are the same dons who was telling me about Povetkin's left hook. He was telling me about Pulev jab. You man are, you man are just AJ haters. You are AJ haters, yeah? That's what it is. Delusional as well. Not even good haters. Just delusional ones. Anyway, moving on. Let's get to today's topic. Like I said, AJ versus you suck September 25th. And that really is as bright as this video gets. Because I didn't even want to I don't even really want to see AJ versus you sucks. You might know my opinion. You sucks and Joe Joyce should be fighting each other. Two twos. Next thing I know, one minute I'm thinking one minute I'm talking about how you sucks and Joe Joyce should have been fighting each other, bearing in mind that was the fight that was mandated four months ago. Never did I expect to be put in this particular situation, to find myself with the governing bodies doing what they're doing now. This didn't even, as bad and as corrupt as the governing bodies have got, never. Did I believe they were this delusional? Or not even, sorry, never did I believe they were this corrupt. Two twos. AJ signs to fight Usucks. Usucks was the goofy mandatory that shouldn't been anyway. Because, like I said, you, number one, Usucks ain't done nothing at heavyweight. And therefore, he, he never, he, he ain't hurt no mandatory shot. But, num but number two, he already was ordered to do a fight. Joe Joyce and Usucks were ordered to fight. For the mandatory. That's what makes sense to the fans. That's what the fans wanted to see. In the last six months at some point. And that's what makes sense. To the politics of the sport. Taking corruption out of this. yeah, Taking Ukrainian mafiosi out of this. That's what makes sense. To the tr to the bo to the boxing spirits. yeah. The boxing spirits. Wanted to see Joe Joyce. Versus you sucks. At some point in the last six months. Next thing I know. Like I said, AJ signs to fight you sucks. And like clockwork, yeah, the clock of corruption stroke noon. Because shortly after AJ signed to fight you sucks, the Ukrainian mafiosi dons, their plan played all the way out. Because next thing we know, the WBO has mandated AJ to fight Joe Joyce. AJ hasn't even got out of the ring with one of his mandatories, and they've already lined up the next one. Can you believe what's going on here? Seriously. And it's not about, oh, why, oh, why be, oh, you don't want AJ to fight the best fighters. What are you talking about? You man are slow. I'm getting sick of having to educate you, man. Yeah? As much as I enjoy creaming your man's face, I'm getting sick of it. Even, even the YB who loves creaming next man's face, I'm getting, I'm getting sick of it, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of leaving you dance crispy. Sick of it. Fix up. I'm starting to think that you man are into that kind of thing. I'm starting to think you man have got like a little, this weird little fetish thing going on. I'm starting to feel like you man enjoy the YB spraying your man's, your dance face up. Leaving you all crispy looking. That's the only conclusion I can take from this. Yeah? Because at the moment, if, if you, if you see what's going on. In the heavyweight division, and particularly with the WBO, and you think this, you think this is normal, or you think this is this is just. Since again, what happened to contenders? So now we've got AJ. Barely finished, barely finished signing 
one of his mandatories, who didn't deserve it. And he's got another mandatory, who doesn't really deserve it. Now, to be fair to Joe Joyce, I don't mind him. I think, listen, he has more of a claim than Usucks does. But that's not really the point. The point is, Joe Joyce and Usucks should have been fighting. That's the bottom line. That's all I asked for. A bit of procedure here. AJ is a super champion. He has three belts. I'm sorry, he's undisputed. AJ is undisputed. Undisputed super champions shouldn't be doing all the legwork. What should be happening is governing bodies should be stepping in to aid AJ and build mega fights. Super champions like AJ, they should only be in super fights. They should only be fighting people who have a brand and who have a legacy in their own right. Joe Joyce don't have no legacy. And again, to be fair to Joe Joyce, he wanted the Usucks fight. But where I'm angry with Joe Joyce is, is the fact that he played along with this. Yeah, the, the, the Ukrainian mafiosi reached out to Joe Joyce and told him, listen, Joe, keep your mouth shut. We've got our hands touching all up, all upside the WBO president. And therefore, if you keep your head down, we're going to our man's going to get the shot and then we're going to touch them to get you a shot as well. And that's what happened here. Because it never, and it's interesting because I, I told you, man, at the time, I said, what's, go, what, what's going on here? Why is Joe Joyce? And you, you man saw the video. I was slagging off Joe Joyce and Sam Jones. And I was slagging off saying, where's Big Mouth Sam Jones gone? He's all quiet. But now it's all the little, all little pieces of the puzzle are coming together now. Now it makes sense why Sam Jones was quiet. He was quiet, not because he's incompetent, but because he was told, Sam, you, you don't need to be shouting because we're going to give you, we're going to give you something on a plate that's much better than you having to fight you sucks. We're going to give you AJ straight away. Which is the big lottery ticket. So even Joe Joyce, who I believe is a relatively strong fighting man, even he can't turn that down. Even he's not stupid enough or not or, or smoky enough to say, you know what, I'd rather just prove myself. Because a real a true smoky fighting man would say, you know what? Keep keep your easy, keep your easy title shot. I wanna earn it right I outright. And that's where me and Joe Joyce have fallen out. Yeah? Now, I understand he's got a family of his own, but uh, listen, I don't care about families. We've all got families. We're all broke. How about that? Yeah? At some point, you have to draw a line. Or otherwise, we, we all end up like Tyra and Booth. We all end up like kept women. With some next don coming around our yard on a Friday afternoon, Friday evening, sorry, to ride our hind legs off. So, like I said, me, I'd rather be flat broke with some principles. I'd rather be flat broke with no man knocking my door on a Friday night looking to hang at the back of me because they paid me some money. Joe Joyce, unfortunately, listen, some next man is coming around to Joe Joyce's yard on a Friday night, no doubt. Because, like I said, he could have drew a line in the sand and said, listen, I've got principles. I don't want no Ukrainian mafiosi to have to touch some WBO president to give me some goofy shot I haven't really earned. I want to push you six wig back. Especially because he pushed mine back. I want that get back. I don't want an easy free lottery ticket. Just because you sucks has begged and has used his mafiosi influence. To get a, um, a, a shot he doesn't deserve. I don't want that. I want you sucks badly. And that was the fight that was ordered. Joe Joyce and you sucks was ordered. Joe Joyce went super quiet. Now we know why he did. Because he was told. You, you stay quiet, and you're going to get the shot with AJ. And please don't know one at me telling me this ain't what's gone on. Because I'd love, I'd love to hear you man explain it some other way. And this is the thing with some of you goofy slowdowns. I always get, tell you what's going on. And then you, you man say, you say, oh, why be you lying? Why be you don't have no sources? But guess what? You don't come up with no other, innit? You ain't got no other ideas. If you're, if you're telling me this ain't corrupt, if you're telling me the WBO hasn't been touched. Explain to me how. I've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen a man, AJ, I've never seen a fighter signed to fight his mandatory and the next mandatory be called before he's even fought. He hasn't even fought this one. And they're, and they're saying it, you know what I'm saying? The super champion hasn't even fought his first manda his mandatory and they're lining up the next one. Who, by the way, hasn't done nothing for it. This isn't a case of where... Well, YB, you know, 
Yeah, you sucks. You sucks are just beating Dylan White and Deontay Wilder. So he needs the mandatory YB because look, he's just beat two top top cats. Oh, and YB, look, Joe Joy, he's just ran through Tyson Fury and I don't know, pick someone else who's who's up there. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? That's how they're talking. If that was the case, if you sucks had just run through Dillian White and ran through Deontay Wilder and Joe Joyce had just run through Tyson Fury and ran through someone else, I'd say, well, man, listen, end of the day, you, either way AJ looks at it, he'd have to be fighting their man anyway. My problem is, these cats are mandating people super hot. Yeah? Don't get me wrong, I'm all for mandating people super hot. If people, like... The way you get man, the way you get mandated super track, or the way people should be mandated super fast, is if they're doing some super smoky things. Like I just said, if you're not, if you're going in there and you're taking out the best, and you're kind of banging on, on the door, and you're banging on the door of opportunity, I get that. But this ain't the case. Going in there with Carlos to Cam, AJ's leftovers, don't guarantee you a, a damn thing. Immediately. He was stay in line, and that's why, again, what's, that's what frustrates me the most about this Joyce and Usuk situation. Joyce versus Usuk, that was the fight. That was the fight where, where people like the YB, the boxing super hardcores, can get behind the winner of that and say, listen, the winner of Usuk and Joyce, especially if it's in devastating fashion, which I think it would be, I think Joyce has stopped Usuk right now, but either way, the winner of Usuk and Joyce. That, that fight, the champion of that fight, would have a claim to say, listen, I've got the skills, look at what, look who I've just beat, I've got the skills to potentially test AJ. The winner of beating Takam, don't mean, don't mean SHIT. The winner of beating Chizora, barely. The winner of beating a beat off Chizora, barely. Don't, 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 don't demand nothing. We're talking about top 15 wins here. It's shocking. Top 15 wins apparently gets you immediate double, double mandatory shots. What's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. Ukrainian mafiosi has touched all, listen, the WBO president's been touched all over. Yeah, all over. He's been fully Epstein, no doubt. Yeah? Some next Ukrainian mafiosi, Don. Listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. The WBO is, what's the word? I'm not even sure what to say, to be fair, but listen, you best believe. The WBO is touched. That's the, that's the only way I can explain it. They have been touched. And you best believe that. And any of you goofazoids who disagree, I'm, I'm begging to hear what, you're, what, what you think going on. I'm begging to hear what you man with no sources thinks going on. Oh, why be, mate? You know, it's because Carlos Takam's really. Su Oops. When AJ beat Takam, when AJ beat the freshest Takam, you man said he's a bum. Now Joe Joy's about to go life and death with him, and you're gonna ch ch try to explain to me how that gets him an immediate shot. And by the way, another quick thing. Why is it AJ is the only man who has to follow orders? And again, for me, it's not even about the orders. I'm more for, I'm more for following orders. If AJ was, if there was, a, if there was a whole bag of man doing lifting, doing heavy lifting, making their way in the sport, making forcing decisions to be made, I'll be the first one getting behind him and saying, "Listen, you best get in with him next." And that's the, and the thing. What, what gets me the most is, is the fact that AJ would be getting behind it too. And I'm not being funny. He's getting behind it anyway. And I think that, in my opinion, this is poor management from AJ's team. AJ's team aren't managing him the, be the best they should be. Because in my opinion, they should have dropped the WBO belt. They should have said, listen, if you man want to play F-U-C-K or E, if you man want to play F-U-C-K or E, that's on you. We're not going to be part of this. The minute you start ordering me to fight bums who have done nothing, I'm out of here. I am a super champion. You send to me the best of the crop. You don't send to me all the random bum, you know, you don't send to me all, all the odds, odds and sods who haven't done enough all. You send to me the people who, the, the top, you, you, you send to me the top of the bunch. Since when did the super champions do all the, do all the, do, take all the trash out? What is that? It's really weird. There's supposed to be a pyramid in boxing. But now, 
You've got the people at the bottom of the pyramid, Joyce and you sucks, just sitting around waiting and crying, and the man at the top is having to fight them all. And again, it's not even about... Fight. If all these men were doing, doing things that are impressive in the sport, it makes sense. What, where it don't make sense is, is that two contenders get ordered to fight, which is what, how the sport's supposed to go. The sport's supposed to go, AJ sits there waiting until there, until there is, until, until a viable contender presents himself. Now, a viable contender doesn't present himself by sitting around crying and waiting. A viable contender presents himself by taking out the rest of the bunch. These governing bodies are only supposed to be sending the best of the bunch, not just riffraff. Who have got nothing but a top 10 win. Joy jo Joyce hasn't beat one man in the top 10. Neither has you sucks. And better yet, for someone to be fighting AJ, you best be taking out top 5 individuals in my opinion. Spot bottom line. For you to be taking time, for you to be wasting the super champion's time, you best have beat someone in the top 5. Which, Joyce versus you sucks would have been that fight. But for some reason, and the fans lose out as well, that's what you slow dopeys don't get. The fans lose out. Whilst AJ is fighting all these riffraff no one's heard of, tell me this, is Joyce versus AJ a super fight? No one's heard of Joyce. Is, jo is AJ versus you sucks a super fight? No, neither of them fights are. How it's supposed to go is, Joe Joyce is supposed to beat you sucks, for example. Joe Joyce is supposed to beat Dillian White. Yeah? By the time Joe Joyce has beat Usucks and Dillian White, by then, all the fans are behind it, or certainly more so, innit? By then, there's genuine buzz. People are genuinely interested to think, wow, this man's just taking out Usucks. This man's just taking out Dillian White. This man's a genuine... Like, there's genuine intrigue here. Can AJ do it? Oh, no, no, no. It's Joe Joyce fights bums. Dillian White fights bums, and I'm not, to be fair to Dillian, he wants good fights, but either way, the fact of the matter is, who's he been fighting? No, no one, D Dillian White ain't beat no one that's got me intrigued whether he can beat AJ again. That's the truth of it, he hasn't. Is it his fault? No, but it's just what it, I'm, I'm, this is the facts, he hasn't. Dillian White ain't beat no one I'm, I'm, intri I'm, I'm intrigued about. So we've got three man, Joyce, Usox and Dillian. None, none of them man have beat any, have beat each other, and that's the, that's the thing here. Ultimately, they should be fighting each other because we can all talk about, oh well, De Deontay Wilder and Fury don't want to fight. Yeah, we know that, so they take them out. But what are you three man doing then? Dillian, Joyce, and Usox. What are you three man doing? No matter, what, no matter what way you want to look at this, yeah, it's unfortunate. But AJ has all the belts, so you can't. Oh, but why be? Who's AJ fighting? That's the point. AJ sits at the top. The governing bodies are supposed to send up the best. Not, well, let's slap Pulev in there. What the fuck? How, how did Pulev? That's another thing, Pulev. How did he? What's going on here? How did Pulev get a mandatory shot? What has he done? And if, guess what? If, you, if Pulev wanted a mandatory shot, the governing body should have said, Pulev, have you beat, out of these lot, Dillian, you, Dillian, you sucks, Joe Joyce, who have you beat? None. Oops. You ain't getting no shot. That's how it should be. From now on, the governing body should get together and say, or, it, or in divisions, yeah, where one champion has all the belts, like AJ does, in them divisions, the governing bodies should be, um, should be forced to work together. And they say, because otherwise, if they don't work together, it ends up how it is now, where each governing body, the... The sport split, split, is split three ways, which means you're able to nick, nick mandatory shots. If you focus on one, on one route, the chances are, when you've only got three, four or five contenders, chances are you can nip your way through, if that makes sense, which has happened. You stuck has, has nipped his way through. Dillian White, if he went the AJ route, would be able to nip his way through. Joe Joyce nipped his way through. Avoiding the contenders because of the system. When you have an undisputed champion, the governing body should be compelled to work together. For the, for the fans' sake, and for the sports' sake, and to say, we've got one champion, in, we've got one champion in this division. Therefore, we need to work out 
who we need to work out what the best fight is. Because the governing bodies get paid anyway, because AJ, AJ's got all the belts. So it's in their favour to make the biggest fight possible. So Dillian White, Pulev, I'm talking about last year now, Dillian White, Pulev, Usux and Joe Joyce, them man right now should be in a fight off, essentially. We should have, we should have had Dillian versus Pulev and we should have had Usux versus Joyce. And then the winner of them two, which would have been in my opinion, Joyce and Dillian. Joyce versus Dillian and there we are. The winner of Joyce versus Dillian, I'm probably going to back Joyce, although it would be an interesting fight, I'm not sure. I'm probably about 50-50. I like Joyce though. I think his chin's more durable. He's slower though. But so either way, it'd be interesting. That's the, and that is the thing. I'm sitting here it's, having to fucking play top trumps when in reality us fans should have seen this already. We should have seen Dillian versus Pulev. We should have seen Usox versus Joyce. Along the way, these fights make buzz as well, by the way. Every cry, every so what, what, when Joyce is beat Usox, that's a big fight. Given history, relatively speaking, when Dillian's beat Pulev, it's so-so, and then you got and then you got another fight before we get to the AJ versus Joyce. So by then, yeah, by the time Joyce has beat Usox and then beat Dillian, two pay-per-view fights back to back, you've then got the AJ fight to think about. Wow, that's how that's how interest is built. Interest isn't built. Value isn't built by everyone sitting around and AJ just wiping a whole load of bums. Who haven't done nothing? Who haven't built nothing of their own? What are you bringing to the table? And that's why, to an, to, and that's why I believe AJ's team—they're ineffective all around. Just going in there, you've got, in my opinion, you've got to apply some finesse and some class to the business side of boxing. Oh, YB, he's worth a hundred million. Yeah, but AJ was always going to be worth a hundred million. This is about being worth half a billion, in my opinion. Just, just fighting every bum they throw up to you—it's not good enough. I just said, listen, I'll fight, I'll fight for your belt again when you, when you, when you provide me a viable challenger. For now, I'm sacking the WBO off. Because what? Why fight for it? Why fight randomers? You should have sacked that WBO, WBO belt off. Let Joyce and Usox fight. Let let the winner of that fight fight a few more people, and then circle around and get it. And that's what, and that's what Alvarez is doing. What? Why do you think Alvarez was able to make a lot of money with Billy Ho? Rightly or wrongly, the fans want to see champions in their own right. They don't want to see AJ just wiping a whole load of randomers no one's ever heard of. That, that's what it is, unfortunately. No one knows you sucks outside of the hardcore fans. No one knows Joyce outside of the hardcore fans. That's the truth of it. They don't. I mean, the fans barely know fucking Dillian. Truth be known. <laughs> and the only reason we, the only reason the fans at Mass know Dillian is because AJ knocked him out, isn't it? That's the truth. Dillian wasn't telling no pay per views until AJ sent him to meet his meet his maker. So that's AJ. Dillian is AJ's brand anyway. That's the truth. And it's about time people start bringing something to the table. But as long as AJ and his do dopey ass team allow 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 bums to get a shot. As long as you allow every Tom, Dick and Harry to get a free 10 million payout clause, that's what it will be. Now I can see from AJ's side, he's probably thinking, well, I've got to fight someone, so why not let it be you suck? Which is a fair point, that is a fair point, you, you have got to fight someone. But for me, it's more about the principle of why, 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 are, why are us as fans and why is AJ as... A super champion being deprived of these super matchups. Why are we being deprived of that? Because all it is is bad bad management on the governing body's side and bad management on AJ's side. AJ should refuse to fight people who that that, that for me yeah that'd be my clause. I ain't fighting no mandatories unless they've beat someone in the top five. If you if they haven't beat no one no no names, which means they're not bringing nothing to the table. Because again, if Joe Joyce had to beat you sucks, he'd be bringing someone to the table. He'd be, be he'd be bringing at least a little bit of intrigue. Who's Joe Joyce beat to bring intrigue? All we have to go on, I tell you, like, Joe Joyce has beat Daniel Dubois. To be fair to him, and that's what I've always I've always said. Joe Joyce has beat someone. He's got more of a claim than you sucks does. You sucks ain't beat no one, but even so, that that's that. They're supposed to be. It's not supposed to be. You beat one. 
you beat one top ten and get a title shot. You're supposed to move up the ranks. Like, for example, in the UFC. In the UFC, you don't beat number nine and get a title shot. You have to beat number nine. You have to beat number five. You have to beat number three or two. And then you get it. So there's like... There's like you have to... It's a proper lineage. To get to the title. You don't just jump in and beat have one good fight. And that's why... Again... Governing bodies. Again... Team AJ. That's why the UFC is so successful. Because... They create every... or well not every... I'm not saying every time, but... They create hype. They create intrigue. What they don't do is... They don't have... Habib... Fighting number 10. Who ain't done nothing. Because guess what? Don't no one want to see that. People want to follow stories. People want to follow lines of victories. They want to say, wow, Joe Joyce has just, look how Joe Joyce has moved up the ranks, beating this guy and stepping up every time. I wonder how that man, who has his own lineage, comes up against Habib, for example. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want to see. You can't build that kind of value in the way boxing is today. The way boxing is today is a whole bunch of randoms doing nothing but fighting bums, trying to keep their O tidy, trying not to lose. Try not to get hurt. Try not to get hit. And then, they hang around for long enough and say, oh, it's time I got a title shot. And that's it. You get a title shot. No intrigue there. No intrigue. No name. No mega fight. No nothing. And that's why, the, that's why boxing is going to SHIT in a handbasket. Because that's all it is. And I'm sick of it. And AJ, Team AJ to an extent do have to take responsibility because they, they allow it. They allow. They just sit there and take it all. And just say yes to everything. I don't know what this big fascination is with keeping, oh, I want to keep all the belts. Newsflash. Fury and Wilder ain't going to fight you anyway. Which is my point. You, from now on, AJ should focus on maximising his own, his own ish he's got going on. If and when them goofies decide to come around, so be it. But for now, focus on your own legacy. And your own legacy and ain't, ain't, ain't doing it no favours fighting a bunch of randomers. It is then. It's not intriguing. This is not. And that's why Alvarez takes belts and gives them back and goes back round. That's why arguably... Well, yeah, that's why arguably, arguably, well, yeah, his events, I don't know, not all the time, but often, they feel like they have, what's the word, they have like a, a two-tier, like, for example, Alvarez versus Billy Ho, yeah, Alvarez versus Billy Ho, that almost felt like it was intrigue, wasn't it? We don't have none of that in AJ fights. Why well, do I anyway? Some of you low IQ dons do, but I don't have that. It's never you, you never get you never have to sit there and think, wow, look, you know, look at this man's resume. It, it does stack up. I'm not sure how this is gonna play out. It's always Pulev. Done naffle for ten years. Has got a shot. It's only gonna go one way. Or it's You sucks. Done naffle. Only gonna go one way. Joe Joyce beat Danny Dubois, had one had one good win. Yeah, it is what it is. No one's forced to build resume anymore. And instead we've got Joe Joyce being mandated. Out of nowhere. I, I would have preferred Joe Joyce to be mandated immediately after Danny Dubois. At least then it makes a little bit of sense. At least at least then we know it's not because the, the WBO's been touched and forced. To call a random ass mandatory. Because this came out of nowhere. The worst thing is. Joe Joyce hasn't even beat Takam yet. It comes. It's come out of nowhere. It makes absolutely no sense. Until you understand what's gone on behind closed doors. The, w, the WBO president's been made to grab his ankles in his office. Yeah. And some next mafiosi, some next Ukrainian mafiosi is hang, hanging at the back of him. No doubt. 